Hello, and um, happy end of finals week. Uh, so today I'm demonstrating my final project for multimedia storytelling on public lands. And you can see from my um, project here, kind of have the title, Public Lands Are Under Attack. And the reason I go with that is because I'm creating this project, obviously based around public lands, but I'm creating it for um, the outdoor recreation industry as far as some sort of company, maybe Patagonia, REI, North Face, etc., to use as a um, PR piece for public lands. And the reason I go with that is because in the news recently, um, very pertinent is um, public lands. Just um, last week, uh, President Donald Trump announced that he planned to reduce the size of two national monuments in the United States, Bear Ears and Grand Staircase Escalante. And the reason he was doing that is kind of to promote uh, natural resource extraction was the idea behind it. But that has caused uh, an uproar in the outdoor recreation group as this is the largest reduction of public lands uh, that the country has ever seen that any president has ever done. So um, you, there have been several um, public, public lands advocacy organizations and outdoor recreation companies that have gone out to create uh, PR content that promotes public lands and some like Patagonia have gone as far to sue the federal government. So with that said, um, the a project like this would be used to focus, the, the audience would be focused on people that use um, outdoor lands, most likely for recreating, but could be anything. And um, this ultimately, I guess you could call it a promotional thing. It's not journalistic because it's obviously biased in the way that it's in support of public lands. And with, with that said, you can see I have two buttons located right here on my screen. And you click on the first one, and it's Learn More. And it'll take you to the U.S. Department of Interior's website, which goes over the different types of public lands as they're broken up into different categories. And what each means, as you can see here, the National Monuments, those are the ones that have been uh, in the news most recently, but you can go even further back to a um, couple years ago with the Bundy situation in eastern Oregon, and those were in references to wildlife refuge. And then the other button here is the Take Action button, which will take you to the Trust for Public Good, where you can actually sign a petition to uh, tell Congress members that you want public lands protected. Um, and then coming back to my project, you can see, so this is a picture of a public land site that I took. And it has, you know, the, the sign that public lands are under attack. And I, I picked that slogan because it was kind of jumped out there and it makes people question. And so even if you don't know much about public lands, you can, you can drop a lot of information from this project. So here you can see broken up into the different sections of my project and click the next section here. And I have um, kind of an introduction on what makes uh, public lands or why the news is um, around public lands, kind of what it is. And so you can see here uh, I'm talking about um, public lands, which make up nearly a third of all land in the United States. It's about 640 million acres of public lands in the United States, which is actually more than um, any other country in the world. Um, and so part of the reason that public lands are so controversial right now is because, you know, the United States is a capitalistic country, but public lands can be viewed as the opposite, uh, go contradictory to the grit, to the ideals of capitalism in that, you know, it's, it's self-interest and, um, you know, you you buy what you need and you work your way up, whereas public lands are funded from taxpayer money and provided for everyone, regardless of your financial standing or regardless of your status. And so with that said, um, 
other people will argue, you know, that public lands are some of the greatest um, assets of the United States, really what makes the United States the United States. And so that's what I did here is I went to explain why, um, you know, just kind of give a quick introduction of why public lands are important. And so then my last sentence here, for the United States to prosper, public lands need to be public, and here's why. And I outline, you know, kind of kind of the big big reasons uh, behind why public lands are important. So the first being recreation opportunities, boost the economy, and improvements to the wild, uh, wildlife habitats. Um, and then next you can see my first form of media, which is photo gallery. And I picked uh, a photo gallery as a media because... I wanted to encompass the different ways that people use public lands. And so if you click through uh, my pictures, you pop up and it comes to a slideshow and you can see that each is a little bit of a different way to use public lands. And it kind of tells a story in that, um, you know, public lands offer people you know, the opportunity to do the way we want. And then kind of as a resolution of this media, I bring it to an end. I see, you know, my caption here, take action now, public lands need your help. Uh, which brings me to the next media, which is my video. And so you click here to play and the video pops up. And what this video is, is I interview um, Trey Peterson Wood, who is a fellow Linfield student that grew up near Yosemite in Sonora, California. And he has a really interesting relationship with public lands because someone from Sonora, he, you know, he goes on to say that the only reason Sonora is a city, a place where people live, is because of Yosemite. It's uh, economically, everything is funded by um, the traffic to Yosemite. And he goes, he goes on to say that if public lands were reduced, including somewhere large like Yosemite, there would be no reason for the people in Sonora to live there and his city would, his hometown would in, uh, eventually diminish. And I wanted to use a video to kind of capture uh, the interview essence with Trey and use that as a, as a media to kind of give people a, a personal connection with public lands and what would happen if public lands were reduced all the way to nothing. And then that brings me to my final form of media which is an infographic. Um, and the first part of my infographic shows this map and the darker the brown, the more public lands and the lighter, the less public lands. So it kind of shows the distribution of public lands in the United States. As you can see, most are located in the West. Uh, it, public lands are densely located in the West. It kind of gives you an idea of where public lands are located just so you can give it visual. And then Below, um, I point out a couple a couple things of how public lands improve the United States, and then from there um, I go to kind of what I see is uh, kind of the most staggering data here. Um, this was done research by a group. They found that for every ten thousand acres of public land, there's four hundred thirty six dollar increase on per capita income in nearby cities. That, so that kind of plays off what Trey was saying. In the video, you can click here and it takes you to a different research group that has lots of information on uh, other economic roles of public lands. And then from here, I want to point out that uh, based on consumer spending, the outdoor recreation is actually the fourth largest economic sector in the United States. And so, if public lands were to be reduced, you would be removing that entire outdoor sector or that uh, economic sector from the United States economy, which It'd be hard to argue that that's a that's a good thing. So sitting, you know, only behind hospital care, outpatient health care, and insurance services, outdoor recreation, uh, which is awfully staggering. And so that kind of gives you a background on my um, kind of my website, how it's laid out as a whole. And I really see this uh, project distributed on uh, websites of outdoor recreators as um, or outdoor recreation companies as trying to promote their positive relationship with public lands and their positive relationship with their customers. Uh, so overall, I really see this this project as something that would be beneficial for a company like REI to post on their website so people understand what are happening with public lands and understand that there is support out there for public lands.